Hello guys, welcome to Drill's Point. Uh, we are in a video lecture where we are studying about developing applications for Android. So uh, till now we have covered the project structure of Android, the Hello World project, running our AVD, setting up Android, uh, Android Studio, what Android is all about and things like that. In this lecture we are covering about some components that form the core of Android application development. So what are the components that are the part of Android application, you know, uh, that we use frequently in our, in our application that form the base of the application. So to be precise, there are four main components that form a part of the Android application. They are namely as activity, services, content providers and broadcast receiver. So what is the activity? As we have seen, I have given a hint about you in the previous slide, activity is a user screen that we see for the user. But to put it in very simple words, any user screen that you are seeing or any UI component that you are having is linked by an activity. The, the uh, Android calls the activity, that activity then calls the, the entire process or that then calls the UI. So we can say that one activity can have only one user screen. As soon as the activity is turned off or there's some other process coming up, the activity goes to background or it can even close. So if to say activity is nothing a visual representation of an Android application, right? Now the next component is the service. Now what is a service? You know, you would have seen playing music. Irrespective of the fact that the music player is on or it's off, are you, you are able to see the music UI or not, but the music plays itself constantly. How is it is possible? It's possible because of the service. There's a background process that is controlling the running of the service. The service starts from the start service method that is there in the parent class of service and ends or it runs indefined indefinitely until and unless the user explicitly presses or calls the stop service method. Stop service method can be called by the user or by the programmer or the service is otherwise it's not killed automatically. So we can say that activity is something that is visible to the user. Service is that component which is not visible to the user but it's for sure present and runs on its own. Services are in our daily life are something like, like when we are breathing, right? It is happening on its own. We are not controlling these things. Then another is content provider. Just take an example that you are building an SMS application wherein you are actually sending an SMS to some contacts. How is it possible? It is possible because the application is actually using the content provider to call the database from the other application. So content provider is nothing but the interaction of the other applications data into our own application using a content resolver class is termed as content provider. We use an object which uh, actually works with the data. Generally content providers are having the SQLite database that we have already discussed. Okay, so uh, if, if let me give you one more example. If you are using uh, if you are using something like Facebook and uh, Facebook is searching for emails present emails are in somewhere in the contacts and Facebook is other applications they are communicating with each other it is possible because of the content providers which work on the SQLite database okay so after this we are having broadcast receiver now what's a broadcast receiver this is one of the most important components that you would be using. Okay, to let me give you a very uh, small or very basic example. Uh, how many of you have used WhatsApp? Obviously, there are many who would have used it, right? Now, whenever you are, uh, you know, whenever you are using WhatsApp, when there's a verification SMS that OTP that comes, how does the WhatsApp know that the OTP has come? It is because of a broadcast receiver. A broadcast receiver is some is is that component which actually fires an intent or says that this thing has come up, right? Based on that thing, we perform an action and that action actually calls something. This would be quite, quite confusing for you, so let me simplify it. You are building an anti-theft application. Now what that anti-theft application will be having? It would be having your SIM number saved and whenever your phone is rebooted, a broadcast is fired up. That broadcast is, ca is caught by your application and your application will check 
that is the new sim inserted the same as the old one if it's same then we say that yes the, the phone is not stolen it's your phone otherwise it sets up a message and gives you a call or something of that sort telling that the phone has been stolen so we are having many broadcast receiver predefined phone reboot battery low power low then we have uh, you know sms received call even your call blockers all these things are actually example of broadcast receivers so this was just some gist about all the components of android application development or the some android components we will be taking them one by one in our upcoming videos so uh, to conclude in a very simple way android has four components each components have their own work one one is with databases another is a ui another is a background process and another is some notification that comes to the user so that was all in this session stay tuned as we take you through, through these components one by one thank you